Well, it looks like Honda's automatic emergency braking system is being investigated. In the meantime, though, if you have a setting, you need to turn off the automatic braking and then just set it to alerts. Just like a couple days ago, I talked about the Chevy Colorado and Canyon having the same problem, problem with the automatic braking system that detects objects or falsely detects objects in front of you and then slams on the brakes and causes an accident. So that's really great, right? This is almost surely going to end up being a recall just like other manufacturers have had to do in the past. My guess is they're gonna be able to reprogram the software and it'll fix the problem, hopefully. So this affects the 2019 through 2022 Honda Passport and 2019-2022 Honda Insight cars. More than 250,000 Honda vehicles are affected. I wonder though, if any of the other vehicles in their lineup have this same technology. And I was curious about this. I wonder if it's affected in all models. Look at this. Almost every new Honda vehicle comes standard with the collision mitigation braking system. Ah, it's not gonna be just the Passports. I'll bet you money. Here's an example. The driver of a 2019 Honda Passport had a collision by caused by the sudden braking. They say they had consistent problems with the braking system. It will just break or show the warning when nothing is there. I've also heard in the comments on some of my other videos that people say they get snow on their cameras in these automatic braking systems and the snow causes them to break. So it doesn't matter what manufacturer or car you have. If you've got this automatic braking system, turn it off or turn it to just the alert to where it audibly notifies you, but it doesn't cause your car to break. You don't want these things breaking for you. And the second problem here, the owner of a 2020 Honda Passport complained how the unintended braking occurred at highway speeds, which is kind of crazy. Vehicle braking heavily and unexpectedly on highway and interstate due to defective sensing group input. Sensors like the radars, the camera onboard software creating a dangerous situation. It's basically trying to figure out if there's something in front of you that it needs to break for. And the crazy part is this happened at 60 to 70 miles an hour that's just I, I can't believe that they implement these things over maybe 30 miles an hour you wouldn't want automated braking at that speed and it seems like this problem is specific to the vehicles slowing down when there are no objects or, or obstructions in the road and you can imagine if you've got a trucker or someone behind you following too closely which everybody does they're probably going to rear end you so here's how to shut it off you can actually you can turn it down using these steps you know put the car in park go to the home screen select settings select vehicle select the driver assist system setup and then you can select your forward collision distance if you want to set it to like maybe if you set it to short it would have an easier time doing this i personally wouldn't trust it at this point because this is coming out under investigation i would turn it off and it looks like to turn this off you can press and hold the cmbs button located on the left side of the steering column until you hear a beep and a confirmation message that displays on the vehicle driver information in interface it looks like though it will be shut down until you turn the ignition off so it's going to be activated next time you start your car so every time you start the car you're gonna have to disable it yeah how convenient anyway you know this is just another example of how software is eating the car i just talked about this in my last video it's just frustrating when you have all of this new tech and it's supposed to be assisting you and it's causing accidents instead and i'm guessing they don't really have any way to determine how many accidents has it really prevented versus how many it's caused and you should be able to turn this off and just set it as a permanent setting it shouldn't come on every time you start the car but yeah that's just my opinion i'm not a manufacturer so i hope this helps someone out and keeps you more safe on the road good luck and thanks for watching see you in the next one